conversion graphs. So with the conversion graph that you can see on the screen here, we're comparing miles and kilometers. I've got kilometers all the way along my X axis and miles going up the Y axis. So if I wanted to convert 40 kilometers into miles, I go along my X axis until I find 40 and using a ruler at this stage is usually easier. If you draw a line straight up from the 40, straight up to where it hits the conversion line, then you draw straight across from the graph to the miles and read off where you get to. And it shows you in this instance, if we go from the 40 kilometers straight up to the conversion line, straight across, we find out it is 25 miles. Now at this point, it does help to know what your graph is divided up into. If we look at our kilometers, for example, along the bottom, each large mark is marked off in 10 kilometer marks. We find if we look carefully that we have five sections in between. So that will tell us that each kilometer is half of one of those little boxes, or to put it easier, the little lines are going up in two kilometer gaps. If we look at the miles on the Y axis, and we look carefully, each one is marked off in five miles. This means that each little segment is just one mile. So the first example of conversion I gave you, the 40 kilometers, was actually nice and easy because it ended up on the nice big lines and was easy to read. But we might have some that are a little more tricky and we need to work out what's in between. So for example, if we look at 15 miles, so go up the Y axis to 15, we're going to use our ruler and draw a straight line across till it hits the conversion graph. And then we're going to come down straight down to the kilometers. We find out it is 24 kilometers. So let's look at a couple more examples. What, for example, would 16 kilometers convert into? So if you imagine going along the kilometers line, we get to 10. We then have to count up in twos until we get 16. Go from 16 straight up with your ruler to the conversion line, straight across, and we find it's 10 miles. And one more going the other way. So what would 21 miles be? So we got 20. Remember the miles are going up in one mile for each mark. So I've got one more mark. Go across to your conversion line, straight down, and we'll find that it's 34 kilometers.